Taliban representatives here in the Russian capital. How are the talks progressing? Well, first of all, we have to say that the Taliban movement has come here to Moscow after they had intensive talks with the American side, particularly with the U.S. Special Representative for Afghanistan Reconciliation, Mr. Halazad. And we heard following these meetings from Mr. Halazad that there was a draft framework agreed on the American troops' withdrawal from Afghanistan. We also heard from American President Donald Trump uh, that America is ready to pull out its troops uh, from this country, but the deadline was never mentioned. Finally, on Wednesday, we heard from the deputy head of the political branch of the Taliban movement based in Doha that the end of April is the time when we should see at least half of America's contingent out of Afghanistan. Let's take a listen. The U.S. has vowed to us that half of its military contingent would leave Afghanistan starting from early February and to be completed by April. Two committees will be established. Both will define the schedule for the withdrawal of the remaining troops. Taliban is very powerful, incredibly influential on the ground, and they are, according to various sources, controlling more land in Afghanistan than the official government. So. Of course, this is a force everybody should consider and no one can ignore. Their main condition has always been and uh, remains a complete withdrawal of all foreign troops from the territory of their country. Uh, we uh, met with the uh, American delegation uh, in previous uh, weeks. Yes. Uh, we agreed each other in two points. One is all uh, foreign forces were withdrawing from uh, Afghanistan. Yeah. They seem to have had a positive impact, these talks on the Afghan conflict, don't they? Yes, it, it is, of course, a positive tendency, but there is a scepticism as well, because not everybody shares this optimism about these peaceful efforts, because it is clear that after uh, everything is over, the Taliban uh, wants and probably will play a very important role in the future of Afghanistan politically, maybe even ruling the country. And I've uh, spoken to uh, the member of parliament, Afghanistan parliament, uh, at the, uh, this peace conference, the head of Human Rights Commission, uh, and she has told me that there is a vast part of a modern Afghani society, progressive, dynamic part, she believes, uh, that is not ready to go back to when the Taliban was ruling the country, because this is quite conservative force there. Uh, it, this is an Islamic force. Uh, so at the end of the day, they believe it could be quite controversial. So they don't want to go back. This is one of the concerns. And the, another concern is, of course, uh, the security situation on the ground. The talks are going with the U.S. first, now this peace conference in Moscow, but we see bombardments continuing, the Taliban continue their attacks on uh, the country's army, so people are still dying there. So, uh, I mean, the peace is still not there, the situation is still dramatic, but at least something is going on, so we have to wait and see.